Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Dr. Ace video. Has been a while, but I've returned. In this video, Dr. Ace will be playing Valentina Rossi the game. Truly amazing game, one of my favourite games of all time. Absolutely love it. And in this video, we'll be doing the real events from 2015. And it's simply, as simple as it sounds, it's some of the events from 2015's Grand Prix calendar recaptured in Valentina Rossi the game. So, for example, for this particular video, we'll be doing the 200th, pod the 200th podium that Valentina Rossi acquired in Jerez last season, in the, in the uh, beautiful sunshine in Andalusia. So, the 3rd of May 2015, I'll just read this little synopsis on the left-hand side. The fourth race in the World Championship takes place in Jerez. Lorenzo starts in pole position and immediately sets his pace. Behind him, Marquez remains doggedly in second place while Sir Valentino Rossi sits fifth. After only three laps, he makes it to third place and stays there until the, the chequered flag, earning his 200th podium. So, brilliant stuff from Valentino Rossi. I remember watching this uh, race from last season. Really good stuff. I couldn't wait to uh, couldn't wait to watch it because I know Valentino always goes well in Jerez. Of course, 2016 took the Grand Prix victory in Jerez. So just to show you anyway, the riding aids, we've got the pro physics on, auto brakes are off, joint brakes are off, steering help is off, the manual took in, ideal trajectory is non, and the transmission is semi-automatic. So that is that, and I shall see you in very, 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 very short amount of time, because I'm going to cut this next loading screen out, so then I'll see you on the race. Welcome back. We are at the Circuito de Jerez in a in Spain for the Gran Premio de Red Bull de España and we are ready to go so you see Lorenzo in pole with Marquez and Andrea Iannone taking the front row Valentino Rossi sits there in fifth place I do believe right Paul Spargo fourth and Elise Spargo sixth and away we go the red lights are out green flag is out and this goal is to get Valentino Rossi 200th podium. As already, we go straight up at the inside of Lorenzo and Andre Iannone, but they return the favour and slam the door shut. Paulo Spargo, Alicia Spargo, trying to squeeze round the nine times world champion. Looks like Alicia Spargo and that Suzuki has managed to squeeze through. As we run a little bit wide into turn five. I'm a little bit rusty with my my corner knowledge in this in this particular track I did a video ages ago and I think I got all the track all the corners right but I know this one's dry sack I think I call the other corner turn 5 but I think it should have been turn 3 because this is turn 6 so not far from the real actually from what actually happened the real life oh as we bump markers out of the way Rossi did sit a sit fifth for most laps oh again bit of a collision there as that right leg just pops out for Valentino Rossi slowing himself down in the corner getting a feel for each corner I think we're going to have to concentrate a little bit here because we're falling behind Paul Espargo is still in third Andre you know he leads from Jorge Lorenzo as Marquez tries to squeeze up on the inside that's not going to happen so now going to turn 13 the Jorge Lorenzo corner So we got a decent drive out at that last corner there. It's Paul Spargo still remains in third place, but I don't think it's going to be for too long because the nine times world champion, the Italian favourite, is through in a very cloudy Jerez Grand Prix. So it may have run it a little bit too deep there. Paul Spargo going to be able to chuck it in the inside? Nope. I don't think so. Because Rossi's got those Bridgestone tyres up to temperature now. In the grass. <clears throat> I do believe the target was to get third place in this just to represent and uh, reanimate what happened last season. But I'm, I'm thinking we should go for more than that. Or should we just go for the target? I don't know. Oh, a bit, bit out of shape there. It was on the rumble strip. Gonna try and sneak around the outside of Paulus Bargro. Oh, 
also know on the right hand side you can see where the green bar is filling is how hard I'm push how hard I'm pulling the throttle or the trigger in the sense of the PlayStation 4 controller. Oh, is there exceeding the track limits there? Oh, we got excellent drive there. We've squoze straight through on Polis Bargro. And of course, just to note, the the red lines that fill up on the bottom right hand corner of the screen as well is the front brake and the rear brake. Oh, a bit of a black line leaving there on the track that we've left on the track. A little bit out of shape in that same corner again. Maybe put the hammer down now to catch up to Lorenzo. Could be quite difficult. It's nine tenths of a second. Oh, we have got the speed. Although the gap has just uh, increased to a tenth of a, uh, a whole second. So it may not be possible. But we are closing so much into dry sack. Smooth on the throttle here. You, whoa, whoa! Using every bit of the track there and a bit of a wobble. Oh my goodness. We seem to have messed up. Can we, uh... I don't think we'll be able to... Oh, I don't know. Can we catch Polis Barger up before I messed everything up? I could have used the rewind feature there, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying to do it all legitimately. Oh, didn't get the driver wanted on the rumble strip on the grass. Big wheelie. I'm going to have to squeeze through and Polis Bargro. Oh, pushing him out of the way. Oh, Polis Bargro is not going to be able to hook it up. We have done it. Valentino Rossi acquires his 200th podium. Bit of a balls up towards the end there, but it is what it is. We accomplished the challenge. We crossed the finish line at least third place. And that is that. That is a very quick, easy completion. So we're going to probably squeeze another one in there. So yet again, we're going to be following on from the Valentino Rossi, the 200th podium. We're going to be looking at the Blue Arrow Challenge with Jorge Lorenzo from 17th of May 2015. The fifth race in the World Championship takes place at Le Mans, and Jorge Lorenzo, in great form, confirms himself as a formidable title challenger. The Spanish rider starts from pole position, setting the pace lap after the pace after lap after lap, and getting a final lead of nearly four seconds. So again, the same settings. We're going to go for Val uh, uh, Jorge Lorenzo and Le Mans, and we're pretty much going to replicate exactly what happened in that last year's Grand Prix. And I do believe we've got to take victory. Of a four seconds. As you can see, actually, I didn't point out the victory conditions cross the finish line at first place with four seconds of advantage. So we need to do that. So here we are in Le Mans with Jorge Lorenzo. And of course, the victory challenge, the victory requirements, sorry, is to be to finish over four seconds ahead of the nine times world champion Valentino Rossi. Again, um, I used to know the the track corners, etc. All the names of the corners, and a bit a bit, little bit rusty today, actually. But I do believe this final corner, which we are approaching now, is a recordamon. Oh, nice drive out of that corner there. But are we four seconds ahead of Valentino Rossi? That is the question. Coming up to the blue S's. Nice and smooth so far. And to the Dunlop chicane, I think. No, the Dunlop hairpin. I don't remember. Oh my goodness, we're only two seconds ahead of Valentino, so we need to go. I don't believe we're going to pull two, two seconds ahead of Rossi in this few corners, though. Put the hammer down. 
Ah, we're breaking way too late. Ah, we're practically in... Oh, we're in the kitty litter. This is not going to happen. There's no way I can get four seconds now. But we shall see. Breaking late for Shimano Buff, I believe. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, we're all over the... The rumble strip exceeding track limits. We're in the grass now. Oh, my goodness. This is probably not going to happen. It was worth a try. Here we go. It leaving record one for the last. Oh, a bit of a wobble there. And we did not get the ham. Oh, no. Yep. Shake your head in disgust, Lorenzo. That's amazing. He's crossed the finish line in first place because he didn't finish with get the correct victory condition. He was shaking his head. So, unfortunately, I didn't manage to do that on this one, but I'm sure we can do this again. This is just a little brief video to say, yes, YouTube, Dr. A still exists, still survives, and he's back. So I'll try and get as many videos as I've done, uh, many videos done as I can. Didn't sound right when I said it, but it sounded right in my head, perhaps. So... Without further ado, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe as always, and I'll be bringing you new videos soon-ish, hopefully. Ciao.